Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be going through my fall empties. I'll try to keep it short and sweet since I know these videos tend to be long. So let's just jump right into it. I feel like I always start my empties videos with skincare, so I'll switch it up a bit today and start with makeup products since I have quite a few. So the first product I am really sad to part ways with and it's the Makeup Forever HD Pressed Powder. And I've been using this almost exclusively for the past two years or since I received it and as you can see there's just a bit left on the rim but it's really hard to use up since it just ends up cracking whenever I dip my brush into it but yeah this really is an amazing product and I do have a blog post on it so if you would like to learn more about it I'll make sure to like it below next up I have these two mascaras so the first one is by Essence and it's their Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Waterproof Mascara. And I already tried um, one of Essence's mascaras and I believe it, it was the same one except in the black tube so maybe it just wasn't waterproof. I find personally that the bigger the brush the more volume I get. It takes a few applications before I got used to the brush but that's something that comes with time I guess. and. I ended up really liking it. And then the other mascara I finished is the Glow Minerals Lash Lengthening Mascara. And the reason I really loved this mascara is that the wand is really flexible. So as you can see, it's very bendy. And I found this really helped with lifting my lashes. And the formula itself was really nice. It's not too thick nor too thin. I also found it wore really well throughout the day and it didn't get clumpy or anything like that. If I had to pick between the two, I would probably go with the Glow Minerals one because I personally prefer lengthening mascaras. Then there's this concealer which you might recognize from a past haul I filmed. It's the Desert Essence Blemish Touch Stick Concealer with Tea Tree Oil and I got it in the shade Light. Um, this one was really interesting because it actually gives off a very cooling sensation which is obviously really nice and soothing. Um, in terms of coverage, it wasn't the best I've ever tried, but it still does provide some coverage, just I would have preferred if it would have given a bit more. And the thing with the packaging is that it comes in a squeeze tube like this, so it was sometimes a bit tricky to get it out, especially near the end. But I really liked the refreshing scent and the cooling sensation it gave to my under eye area. But if you're not looking for a very high coverage concealer and you just want a bit of coverage, I think this is a really good option. And then lastly, in terms of makeup, I have this blush duo in Coral Peach and this is by City Color. And this is actually not an empty product, but I've had this for many years and as you can see, um, when I received it, it was already shattered and I put it back together with some rubbing alcohol but it's still crumbling um, and yeah, it's just time I part ways with it because it's definitely already expired but I did really like these shades especially um, this peach one over here um, but yeah, it's just time for it to go, sadly I lied, there was still one makeup product at the bottom of my bag and this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black and this again is not something I managed to empty. I'm kind of sad to part ways with it because it was my first ever gel liner but it's become really dried out and um, whenever I try using it now there's just too many clumps and it doesn't apply smoothly. I'm on the hunt now for another gel liner. I might get this one again, but I'm going to try probably getting another one to um, compare and see if I like it better. Moving on to hair products, I have a few over here that I'm really excited to talk about because they're amazing. The first duo I wanted to share with you are these Maple Holistics Argan Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are hands down the best hair products I've ever tried. Not to mention, these are all natural, which is again even more awesome. And I was contacted by this company to um, try these out and I also had a giveaway on my blog. 
These don't have much lather to them because um, they don't contain um, sulfates, but they are really gentle and they actually really clean your hair and leave them feeling really smooth. And I know that one of them is scent free um, and the other one has a very light scent. So your hair still smells really lovely, um, but the scent isn't overbearing like with some other um, hair products. So these two products are ones I would highly recommend. Again, you won't be disappointed. They're so good. <laughs> the other hair product I have here is the Juicy Shampoo from Lush. And this did a good job as well, but I was slightly underwhelmed because of the fact that it wasn't as natural as it claims to be because it contains um, sodium lauryl sulfate. But what I did appreciate is that it's vegan and I've heard a lot of people who really like it so I guess it's just personal preference. Moving on to skin products, um, I have quite a few here so I'm going to start off with the Biore Pore Strips. I've had this forever because I keep forgetting to use them but I finally used my last strip and I think it does a pretty decent job. I wouldn't say I really have like blackheads but it does get rid of like that gunk that is really hard to remove just with like a cleanser or exfoliant. So once in a while I think this is really good to use. Um, I'm still on the lookout for a different brand to try out because it seems like this is the only um, one I know but I'm really curious to try other ones as well. Then I'm really sad to be parting ways with this here. It's the Aesthetic Hydration Cosmetics Hydra B5 Soothing Foam. And this I received quite a while ago from an Asian skincare brand. And I can't even tell you what ingredients are in here because it's all written in Korean. So I have no idea what it contains. But it actually looked like liquid pearl once you squirted it out. And then it would just lightly foam on your skin. I found this did a really good job at removing most of my makeup. And it was really gentle and lathered just a bit, so that was really nice. So if you can get your hands on this, I think it's a really great product. And uh, let's see here, I guess you can get it on their website, which is hydration.co.kr. Maybe you can find it on there, I'm not sure. Then I also have a few products that I finished up from La Roche Posay. So um, the first one, or actually the two first ones, are gels. The first one is the Soothing Protecting Shower Gel and this can actually be used like all over your body and it can even double as a shaving gel, so that's pretty neat. And then the second one is the Ethaclar Purifying Foaming Gel for Oily Sensitive Skin and this I used on my face. So I mostly use them in the shower. And as you can see, there's a lot of product in each one, so they last me a really long time. And I did review both of these on my blog, so if you would like a more in-depth review, I would suggest you check those out. And then I also have a little moisturizer here from La Roche-Posay, and it's their Hydran Légère Thermal Spring Water Cream um, Sensitive Skin Moisturizer. And this, I mean, was pretty good. I like that it's paraben-free. And it does feel very lightweight, so it's great to wear under makeup. Was it amazing? No, I wouldn't say so, but um, if you're looking just for a good moisturizer, um, this one's pretty good. It just doesn't contain SPF, or I don't believe it does anyways. So um, yeah, I would probably not repurchase this one. Then moving on to a hand cream. I have this Hand Chemistry Triple Function Hyaluronic Rich Hydrator. And this is a pretty interesting product. I originally tried the one in the pink packaging, which um, is really hyped up in the beauty world. Um, so I was really interested to try this one out. This did have a light scent to it, but it wasn't anything too pronounced. By the way, I'm sorry if the lighting changes a lot. It's really cloudy outside. So I'm sorry about the lighting situation. I found another La Roche Posay product at the bottom of my bag. And this is the Tolerian Ultra Contour Zur. So this is an eye contour cream. And I actually really disliked this. It left me with a stinging sensation. 
So I passed it on to my mom and she really, really liked it. So she emptied it basically. But yeah, I was really disappointed by this one. I feel like this is a long video once again, so I'm sorry about that. I also emptied a few products from the France Laure Paris range. And these are more of like the luxe sample sizes. The first one I tried is the floral toner. I also tried the night cream as well as the day cream. And these were really nice. I did enjoy them. So these are made in Canada, which is really great. And they do contain natural extracts. So that's also very nice and I will leave a link to um, a blog post that I wrote on these products if you would like to see what else they carry. I just have a couple more products to talk about and then I promise I'm done. So the first product here is the Foot Softening Cream by Me and the Girls and this again was just a sample size and it was a very thick balm that was um, great for me in the summertime when I had like cracked feet um, but I managed to finish it in the last few months and I really like this it smells very strongly of lavender so if you're a fan I'm sure you would really like this and it is very very hydrating since it is so thick so I would recommend using this at night and you're gonna wake up with really soft feet and finally we got to the last product and this is the NeoCell Collagen Radiant Serum and this contains um, vitamin C and E extract and it's also paraben free and um, acts as an antioxidant. I think this was really nice using under moisturizer or even on its own. Um, it didn't have any scent and felt very lightweight and it sunk into the skin really quickly so that's perfect to use in the morning like under makeup when you're in a rush. But I really like the packaging too, it's really sleek and pretty and it has a pump dispenser which I always appreciate. So this concludes my fall empties. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out my blog as well as my social media. Um, I'll have all the links down below. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!